Welcome to the fifth episode of Sydney Trains Facts and Trivia, the Cronulla slash Waterfall branch, in the quest for Siemens trains. Waterfall Station was opened in 1886, but has moved in 1905. It sees about 540 passengers per day, but most change from the northern suburbs of Thoreau. Heathcote Station opened in 1886, and it sometimes gets some South Coast Line services to Port Kembla. Engadine Station has a very similar layout to Heathcote. It opened in 1920 and had a very major upgrade in 2006. Loftus Station opened in 1886 and was then moved in 1979 because of the Royal National Park Line closed. This station is mostly used by the Tramway Museum. Savon Station opened on the 1st of March 1886. It has three platforms and has many upgrades in its time. At the moment, it is getting an upgrade for a car park. Kirui Station was duplicated in 2010, but not in 1985 when the line between Gaimia and Karingbo was duplicated. It also got a major upgrade in 2010. Gaimia Station opened with two platforms. It also has a turnback platform. This station got a major upgrade in 2005. Miranda Station is connected to the Westfield Shopping Centre. The line was duplicated in 1985. The platform building still remains till this day from its opening. Carring Bar Station opened on the 6th of December 1939. This station opened with two platforms for terminating trains. There is a proposal for a station between Carring Bar and Miranda. Woolawa Station opened in 1939 as a single platform. It is the least used station on the Cronulla branch. Cronulla Station has one very long platform, but it is classified as two platforms. The Cronulla branch was duplicated in 2010 because of the City Rail Clearways project. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sydney Trains Facts and Trivia. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.